if you've got parts of your painting where you wish you had retained the white, you've lost the white, but these are just little bits, not a whole big swatch. What you want to do is to take your white gouache. Some people put the gouache on paper. Uh, you do not want to mix it with your watercolors because once they've mixed, uh, what you end up with is gouache, which is opaque. So you don't get the wonderful transparency of a watercolor. Plus, when gouache dries, it's pretty dead. Uh, I don't even put it on paper. I just take a thin brush and I dip it straight in into the tube. And what I have here is a piece of paper which has some paint on it, but has room for a whitened space. So what you will see is that gouache can cover a multitude of sins. You can restore whiteness a bit. So if you've got a roof line, for example, and maybe you got some color where you didn't want it, try using your gouache. Now, another thing that gouache is really, really good for is highlights. Uh, if you're drawing an animal, for example, and you want the eyes to look alive, you'll paint an eye and then add a little bit of gouache to add a reflection. This makes the eye come alive. Uh, if you're paint, painting uh, blackberries and you want the light to hit, you want to emphasize the features, put a little bit of gouache on it. Gouache really is a wonderful tool. And as I say, it's great for small corrections. 